decision. The pleasure is all yours. Hey, I'm your man. Hey, how you doing? Goldie Garneau, the one and only. Good choice. Is there something I can do for you? Got you covered. Muy bien. Daniel McKee Jackson here, at your service. The name's Frank, but you can call me Mr. Reagan. This city is mine. La Reina de Chicago. Comment va? Al Capone, how you doing? Evening, sir. That's right. I'm just in from Brooklyn. Give me the local lowdown. Well, if you're looking to move some hooch, you ain't the only one. A lot of two-bit gangs are looking to make their mark on the city here. Who says I'm moving, Hooch? Sorry, mister. I didn't mean to assume. You in the brothel business? Eh, might be. Ran a joint with my buddy Frankie Yale back in New York. Real swell guy. Gave me my first job. Frankie Yale, huh? The same Frankie Yale that just showed up in Chicago? I doubt it. He'd tell me first. Well, his name was definitely Frankie. Drove him myself. Italian guy, coming in from New York, right? Carries a box of god-awful cigars with his face plastered on him. 
Don't tell me there's more than one of these guys. That's Frankie. You know where he's staying? Nah, he didn't say. But I can find him for you, if you help me with something. What do you need? There's a gang that's been messing with my cab. Slashing my tires, stealing stuff. They're trying to rattle me. I'd appreciate it if you took care of them. Sure. What's in it for me? Apart from Frankie Yale, how about I give you a line on a few crates of booze? That ought to keep you going for a while. All right. You got a deal. Thanks, Mr. Capone. Say, looks like we're almost there. It's been a pleasure. Good luck to you. Likewise. Welcome to Chicago. Let's have a look around. Got you. Chicago is a dangerous place, and in order to survive, you're gonna need to learn how to fight. Fortunately, I know right where you can find one. This joint belongs to Ronnie O'Neill. He calls himself the boss of the Meat Packers gang. His thugs aren't going to know what hit them. In Empire of Sin, combat is turn-based. The queue of characters waiting to take their turn is above, and the turn order is decided by a character's initiative stat. If enemies are allied with a boss, that boss is also shown under their portrait. The action bar is below. In combat, you can move or choose an action from the action bar. Some actions require a target. It's your turn, so fire a shot if you've got a target. Choose another action or move into cover.
Gotcha. Each character has two action points, or AP. Generally, each action takes one AP. Extended moves, special weapons, and some abilities take two AP. Choose an action below to see how many AP it requires. Using cover is vital to your survival. Cover is provided by the environment, walls, cars, big objects, etc. Cover can be full cover, represented by a full shield, or half cover, represented by a half shield. When you win a racket, you have several options. Let's take this place over and make it ours. And let's make this a speakeasy. Taking a place over costs less than buying it outright. And it's free to keep the racket type the same. This racket's yours, and that's how it's done. You want something? Take it. You're gonna need some guards to keep your speakeasy safe, so open up the racket screen. You got four different ways you can class up the joint, starting with security. The information panel to the right shows your security's current state and what you'll get in the next upgrade. Select Upgrade to go to the next level. Since you got a stage, get yourself a band. Upgrading ambience improves your draw. Higher draw means more customers and more money. Select Upgrade to add a band. That's what I'm talking about. Looks great. Now, let's get out of here. You got other work to do. All right. The gunfire attracted some of the local criminal talent, and they're looking for work. As your empire grows, you'll gain access to bigger and better hired guns, too.
Notice that your crew members have a take, their price for working with you. The take is based on a percentage of your total earnings. In general, the better they are, the higher the take. Gangsters range from professional hitmen to shockingly wayward criminals. They have opinions about the people they work with, and their personalities and traits develop over time. You'll find gangsters looking for work out in the world and in the Black Book. We'll take a look at that later. As you become more powerful, you'll gain access to more hardened, skilled gangsters. Now, hire your second crew member. My man. Now you got yourself a squad. Just in time, too. Your new speakeasy isn't gonna last long without alcohol. It's the resource that makes your world go round. Just so happens Ronnie O'Neill's got a brewery close by. Let's take it over. Zoom out to the world map to see where it is. The meat packers were expecting you. Hopefully, they've also expected their funerals. Let's take them out. You're gonna need more than a few guns to take out Ronnie and his guards. Luckily, the Black Market's got everything you need. Open the Black Market by selecting the shop icon at the top of the screen. Now that you're in the shop window, it's time to get yourself some provisions. Check the stats and effects of any item in the shop in the right window pane. If you want a recommendation, you can't go wrong with a first aid kit. Leave the shop when you have what you need. Now, take over Ronnie's brewery to let him know who's boss. Gotcha. Yeah. 
You need to move into cover. Breweries are well guarded, and this You're is a tough fight. Right. This crew.
We oh, did it! Talking. Take this racket over too. Breweries are critical to your empire. Each brewery can supply alcohol to a small number of rackets. Select Takeover to make this one yours. It's free to set up a racket of the same type you took over. It'll cost you to re-outfit a racket as something else. Select Brewery. Who the fuck do you think you are? First my bar, and then my brewery? This is pointless. When you decide that you want to talk face to face like a man, you know where to find me. Step outside the brewery. Got it. Sit-downs with another boss are serious business. They usually take place in a boss's racket, but they can take place in safe houses too. Zoom out to the world map to find Ronnie's safe house.
You've been a thorn in my side since you got here, Capone. Buddy, you ain't seen nothing yet. You should go back to whatever hole you crawled out of back in New York. There ain't no room for you in Chicago. See, that's where you're wrong. There's plenty of room here. Just have to get rid of the dead weight. Calm down. If this is really how you want to do things, then we'll settle it here. Just remember, I tried to be nice. You got a death wish, O'Neill? How about we make it come true? This is a boss battle, in the literal sense. To win at this game, you need to right. be the last one standing. Take Ronnie out, and his empire is all yours.
I'm on it. Forgive me! talking. Congratulations! You got your first safe house. Defend it at all costs. Your safe house gives you both defensive and offensive benefits. Like everything else, your safe house needs security. It also has a small brewery in case the feds shut down everything else. You can upgrade as you need to, but to win at sin, you're going to need more than that. Right now, you'll need to do the legwork, but eventually, you'll get an underboss to do your bidding while you command things from here. One last thing. To keep tabs on your empire, open the Empire Overview screen. This is your empire at a glance. Everything you need is here, and it goes pretty deep. You can see things like who runs the neighborhood, what people are drinking versus what you're serving, what others in the neighborhood are up to. You can see opportunity too. Optimize alcohol, get an underboss and an advisor, add some synergy bonuses, or even a hotel. Have a look around. When you're ready, select the racket tab.
Racket tab shows every racket you know about, including those owned by others. You can see what level of upgrade they're at and compare your own. Now, select Customer. The Customer tab shows how well you do in filling your rackets with customers. You can increase customers by upgrading your word-of-mouth advertising, locating next to other rackets, or improving your ambience. Next, open the Finance screen. The Finance tab gives you an overview of everything you're making and spending. Last, select Alcohol. The Alcohol tab gives you an overview on what's being made and where. You can see your upgrades here as well and how they can be improved. Looks like you just got a mission. Get a better look at what you need to do by opening the mission screen. Here, you can see a list of active missions, as well as each mission's requirements and descriptions. You can toggle completed missions by selecting the Closed tab. Your active mission will also appear on the main screen. Close the mission screen. You need to get moving. Get a crew. Get rackets. Fortify them. Make allies and enemies. And take them out. That's how you own this city. Go get them, Kingpin. I'll see you around. So, what now? Well, that's up to you, boss. You've got the tools to take over this city. How you do it is up to you. Take a look at your mission journal to get started. You've got to take this city piece by piece. If you want a suggestion, you can start by taking control of this neighborhood first. Good luck, Kingpin. This is the Black Book. From here, you can see which gangsters are available for hire, their relationships, their profession, and how much notoriety you need to hire them. You'll notice that some gangsters are grayed out. That's because they won't work for just anybody. You've got to gain notoriety, knock over some rackets, and maybe take out a few thugs and you'll be well on your way to increasing notoriety and getting bigger and better gangsters. Select a gangster to learn more about them. There are three key things you've got to know about every gangster. The first thing is loyalty. Loyalty is a measure of their time with you. The longer they're with you, the higher their loyalty goes. The higher their loyalty, the lower their cost. And the less likely they are to flip if the cops get to them. The second thing is morale. Morale is a measure of how satisfied they are. Morale goes up and down depending on how things are going. When an enemy gets clipped, morale is going to go up. The more satisfied a gangster is, the better they perform. 
The third thing is traits. Traits are reflective of a gangster's experience before they met you. But they evolve through gameplay too. Traits affect all kinds of things, from their actions to their interactions with others. Some even affect your entire empire. There's plenty to learn on the gangster's rap sheet, so explore different areas to get more information. If you want to hire this gangster, select Hire. How we doing? Good to meet you. How are you?
Come va. Fuck it, why not? Come va? 